Hey guys, it's Derek here, and this is a bit of an apology video and a little bit of an unboxing video. You see, before the Christmas break, we got a, a couple of packages from our customers, and we, <laughs> you know, when someone gives you something, you need to act grateful and you need to open it right away, and you have to be happy about it. Um, and we, in the last month, have just been killed with the amount of busyness that we have here just before the break and then after the break and even throughout the break I was very busy. And uh, just going to give you a quick, whoa, quick view here, see all this? That's all our sitting area where we typically have uh, hang out and, uh, you know, eat lunch or whatever. It's all parts. Um, customer parts that are yet to go out. That's something that we're trying to handle today. In fact, I almost got it all handled today. Uh, and we're gonna step over here. Got the two boxes over here and uh, put the camera over there. Here we go. And we're doing unboxing now. Okay, so the first one here, can you see me? Here we go. First one here is from Joshua D. He's the guy I need to apologize the most to because he's he's emailed me like four or five times since and said, hey, did you open my package? And I said, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then I cut off my pinky finger in order to apologize and he was still even upset after that. And so, very sorry, Josh, about this. I know what this one is because this one has a little bit of a story. And I'll tell that in just a second. What? always appreciate the presence from customers and since my personal channel has kind of gone down we haven't been doing this as often because I guess people don't see me as much on the camera without seeing my face they don't think hey that guy deserves to have skittles or something sent to him we do have them quite often though so we have a box inside a box and it's a shoebox. And we have the new shoes. Kick. New Nike Air shoes. Air Max. Sent in by Josh D. Air Max 2016. Now that is uh, probably he sent these like two years ago or so. That's not true. Not true. You'll probably hear the grinding outside. I mentioned it in the last video too, but uh, we're shooting these back to back just because I got a few spare seconds. These are very nice, Joshua. Thank you very much for sending your shoes in. You're such a cool dude. I'm going to put them on right now. Now we knew that these were coming in because Josh asked me what size my shoes were and Josh and I sometimes go back and forth on the, the Facebooks and he said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, I'm buying new shoes. And I showed him my new shoes, and they were a, set, a, a pair of business shoes. And he's always making fun of me for looking like an encyclopedia salesperson with like a nice, nice shirt and sweater and stuff. And uh, I got the nice shoes. And he said, those are so uncool. I'm going to do what I can to make you cool. And so got me the new shoes. They fit perfectly. Very nice. So thank you, Josh, for that. And this one is from Daniel O. I don't want to say the full last name in case it's a privacy thing. Daniel O. Or OC. I don't know. Let's open this. Now it says on the box what it is, but I tried not to read it. When you send stuff internationally, you unfortunately have to tell customs what it is that you bring it in. And wow, we got a lot of stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Dan, you. You went all out, wow. Very nice, thank you. We've got, well, this tends to happen quite often actually, is people sending presents to uh, like my children. Um, and I think that some of these <laughs> would be for them. Okay, so uh, five to 12 years old, I have uh, two children within that age range. So very cool, have a look at that. Big into the Lego when I was a kid. Huge is it. Uh, uh, the, the shoes didn't come with a letter. Hey Derek and the Pacific Coast staff, I hope you enjoy the candy in the office and the little gifts. I also hope your kids enjoy the toys as well. Fast and Furious is yours. Okay. 
Uh, I tried to get as much Skittles as I can, but Halloween made me made them hard to get. Also, hope the hat fits you. You all are amazing to work with, and I cannot wait to do more business with you. Sincerely, Dan. P.S. Included zip ties because you can never have enough zip ties. Very cool. Okay. This one. And another one of those. And these ones. And that's a... Some of them I can't tell what they're supposed to be. There's a skyline in here. There's a 300C, uh, 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 a pretend car. And I don't know, kind of looks like golfish and then a beetle. Let's see. Audu Audacious, 300C Hemi, he's that skyline, looks like a beetle. And Pony Up is the name of that car. Uh, I got a pretty big collection of uh, cars over there. That's on the TV stand. And so those will go together with that. Got this one. Muscle car. Fast and Furious. I love that you sent this in. That is so cool. Because this is the official Tokyo Drift in my office. More? Wow, we're going to have no more shelf space for cars. Chicago Bulls hat. When I was in uh, elementary school, everybody wore Chicago Bulls stuff. That was the Michael Jordan uh, era. So, here we go. And, uh, I'm going to be in trouble for this, but I don't know football. American football is not uh, Cubs? Is that right? Hey, Andrew, do you know what that is? Chicago Cubs baseball. Chicago Cubs baseball. I, I even thought it was football. It says NFL. There's this NFL sticker in it, though. <laughs> that means you're going to be called out by the YouTubes. Wait, are you, are you two yeah. hats together? Chicago Bulls, and then C. Don't know what it is. Backwards is the best. A lot of zip ties, which is good, because I owe Andrew a few. I've been stealing his. Wow. Some more Chicago. Okay. I'm gonna be the new Ethan Klein. The two gun. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Wow, I gotta I gotta speed this up. More fast and furious. This one here has melted piston rings, unfortunately. Hope everyone gets the reference. There's this one person that uh, someone asked me in the video, hey, how much does one of these cost? Or how much does one of these run or something? And I said, more than you can afford, pal. And then I said, Ferrari. And then he wrote back, he's like, that's not a Ferrari. And that's kind of a rude way to talk to customers. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you didn't get the reference. He's like, yeah, I did. But I still think that you're a rude guy. Okay. That's cool. It says Chicago. And... I think we got a Chicago coin, which is really rad because Naoko collects the uh, coins for states. Naoko, yes. do you have a 2003 Chicago coin or Illinois coin? Uh, I, yes, yes, maybe I have it. Yeah. Oh, which ones are you missing? Uh, I don't know. I have to check that Okay, bright side Skittles. Big bag of Skittles. Small box of Skittles and Airheads, which is something I've never had before. I don't think we have them in Canada. And uh, Skittles, my um, my six-year-old son and my two-year-old son are both doing potty training at the moment, and we're giving them Skittle prizes. Like if they can do pee pee or poo poo, then they get Skittles. And so uh, both of them are doing really well with that, and they love the Skittles. And my littlest one, he calls these edamame. So he is like. He says, Mame Chodai, Mame Chodai. <laughs> when he uh, does a successful pee or poo. And uh, Jolly Ranchers. So, wow, Daniel, this is, this is too much. Too much stuff. So, thank you for that. Everyone in the office says thank you, too. Uh, Andrew just left. Naoko, say thank you. Naoko, you have to say thank you. Thank you very much. 
She said thank you. Thank you everyone for checking out this video. And I do have a special idea video going forward uh, that uh, you guys have to see. So check that out as well. So thanks a lot guys and I'll talk to you later.